our RPM project in our national CLM solution. Then you link the projects. Then you transfer the blueprint because you want to get your requirement and entire traceability of your you know, uh, blueprint requirements in uh, solution manager. So you transfer the blueprint and you get your test cases and your test requirement hierarchy. Then you can add or modify your test cases accordingly in uh, Rational Quality Manager. That is RQM. You can create your test cases, you can create or you know, modify or import your test scripts as well. And you can create your test suits. For the test suits you can create so they can determine whether you want to run your test in some specific sequence. And then when you execute your test suit, you can transfer the results back to the solution manager. So you can transfer the results back to the solution manager and from there you can analyze the test results if you need to. Now, after analysis, you may want to create some incidents some incidents in SAP. Now when you create those incidents, you can you know, handle the incident in SAP Solution Manager and if you want to have in all the incidents, that is the defects available at a single place, you can transfer the incident from Solution Manager component to the CLM solution. There is the application lifecycle management solution. So when you transfer the incident, what happens is you get the new defects which are created in our CLM solution. Either you can execute the test in the CLM solution and create the defect or you can even transfer the incidents from your incident management application. And of course you can handle the defects, it means you can resolve those defects, you can do the retest and after you decide that yes I have done with my SAP implementation, my SAP project implementation, then you can close the RQM project. And that's the workflow that you have for a quality management solution. Right. So what are the quality management solutions? So 